Hey, I'm bad. And we're also gaming. Uh, we just had to record today, and we don't have enough time for like a actual game. So I just clicked on cool math games, and Trent suggested uh, Papa's Pizzeria. So we're playing Papa's Pizzeria. That's the best one. Yeah, specifically uh, Trent is helping out the customers. Uh, how's your day going, Trent? My day's going all right. I'm really tired, but I think this game of Pop Papa's Pizzeria will really get me going. Yeah, pizza with four pepperons. Yeah, that's that's kind of odd. How do you like your pizza? Um, five meat. Five meat. Yeah. Stuffed crust or just regular? Stuffed crust, yeah. Damn right. Carnivore. Yeah, I used to work at a... I've, I've mentioned this to you, but I used to work at a pizza place. Yeah. Uh, which was not a great pizza place. It was like really greasy and unyummy. I was gonna work there, but then I decided just not show up. Wait, were you like hired? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I went and talked to the dude, the the boss. He was like, yeah, you can work. But then I just couldn't because, like... You know, I, I'm listening. Yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't, so I just didn't show up. Did you have, like, personal issues, or...? Yeah. All right. That's really funny. <laughs> Did he ever call or text you about it? Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think that means that I wasn't going to be useful, so... Yeah, I, I worked there for like six months until I got fired because I didn't work on uh, New Year's. Oh, uh, that's dumb. Yeah. Well, it's because I was I was in Chico at the time. Oh, I love that uh, place. Yeah, I was celebrating New Year's with my sister uh, who lives up there. And my, uh, my boss was like... He didn't even say, like, where are you? He just kind of took me off the schedule and never put me back on. He never told me I was fired. Yeah, that's, that's really dumb. It's just one of my coworkers told me, yeah, I think you're fired. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just go grab my tax return and last paycheck and we'll be all good. <laughs> but at least you work at, like, an ice cream place now. That, that must be way better. It's nice. It's a lot more busy, though. Um, Are you working anywhere? No. Uh, I applied to Subway, went in for an interview, and they were like, well, we might call you back for a second interview. And I haven't got one yet. So. When did you uh, get that interview? Like, a week ago, maybe? All right. Uh, one of our buddies here at the Wolf's Den actually works at Subway. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh, my dude, Andrew. Uh, he does the multiverse compilations. Yeah. yeah he's a fun guy. I, I've had some time talking with him. I try and be fairly close with all the people in the Wolves Den. But the art people are pretty quiet. Yeah, I don't really talk to many people. Like, I talk to Pax, um, you, and... Pax loves you, dude. I know. He frequently talks about, like, Trent's my best buddy. <laughs> It, it's six olives. Oh. On half, on the right half of the pizza. Ah, uh, that's dumb. Yeah. Uh. When I did work at Vinny's, I would. Vinny's is a pizza place for those who did not catch on. Um, I usually worked as a cashier type of person, but occasionally I would make pizzas, and I think watching this is very funny because I just. We never counted how many toppings. We just kind of threw a couple handfuls of something on there and called it good. Respectfully, I had Vinny's Pizza once and I wasn't a big fan. I, it's not good. In my opinion, it's the worst pizza in town. Was, and that's saying a lot because there's like eight pizza places in this town. I want to go to... I think it's Piaggi's. You know the one near Cowlix? It's like yeah, Piaggi's is, in my opinion, the best pizza. I've been there before, like once before, and it was great. Yeah, I'll take you on a date there. <laughs> Not in a, just like a buddy date. 
a platonic date. Sorry, he just, he just phrased it all. <laughs> I, I took one of my buddies on a date the other day. It wasn't weird. Where did y'all go? We just went out to lunch for, at Takas. Oh. Because he wanted someone to buy him lunch. And I was like, all right, but you're paying me back. And he's like, damn it. Oh, I messed up this pizza. Never mind, I got it. Nice. That, that's clean. That is Better for Marty. Free dollar tip. Marty. Two oh, sixty four. So you're so cheap. I hate you. <laughs> oh god, I gotta take these people. How much do you tip whenever you eat out? Um like three dollars. It depends. Always I, well, <laughs> yeah. always three dollars. Fifty dollar meal, three dollars. <laughs> no. Two dollar meal, three dollars. It depends, but like I I don't know. I don't like having to to tip. Um, are these in the mushroom? Yeah. yeah, those are the shrooms. Um, but like tipping at coffee places, I don't like doing it. But I'm still like, oh well. Like places with a tip jar. Yeah, I'm just like, oh well, I guess. I get you. Uh, the place I work right now, I really like because uh, we have a little card machine, like one of those tablets. Yeah. And whenever you like swipe your card, it has like those four options oh, yeah. of like. <laughs> I went to Calix. Percent, eighteen percent, twenty, and thirty percent, and then no tip or custom tip. And it's great because it pressures people to tip. It pressured me. I got twelve dollars of ice cream like last <laughs> week, and I was I wasn't even thinking about it. I just pressed like tip fifteen percent. I was like, why did I why did I tip that person? Everyone does that. Like all, all they did is scoop. They just scoop some ice cream. Say so here you go. It's great it's because not fair. that's like two thirds of my paycheck is people just pressing the tip button. And like, yeah, the pay there is fine. <coughs> Get like fifteen bucks an hour. Why don't? Why aren't you taking other orders while this cooks? By the way, I like to make sure that every pizza is perfect that comes out of my kitchen. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyways, pay there is fine. Like fifteen bucks an hour for like a six-hour day. It's like ninety bucks. But the biggest thing is getting tips. Cause like, I remember on Memorial Day. I got like 80 or 90 dollars in tips. Oh my god. I wanted to work there. No, I got like 100 bucks in tips. It was great. It's great. Yeah, I wanted to work there, but they uh... Yeah, they're not hiring right now, I don't think. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they had a sign that said now hiring, like, outside. And then the second I applied, it was gone. I was like, <laughs> For real? Yeah, I... I think we're fairly well staffed right now. That was a really good pizza. I know, look at that. Uh, and you still didn't give me Frida. <laughs> Frida. Yo, it's my guy Willy. Wally. Sorry. He gets anchovies. Oh god, yeah, the six months. You ever get anchovies on a pizza? Nope. I got it once because my buddy tried to mess with me. Why are you just ignoring that one over there? <laughs> so I was laughing. This poor guy's probably hungry. Oh, man. Uh, what was I saying? Your, your buddy, you got anchovies because you're your buddy. Oh, yeah. When I worked at Vinny's, my buddy Roy, Roy Ross. Oh, right. Yes. Shout out to Roy Ross. Uh, I put anchovies on my pizza when I didn't want anchovies, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the power move and eat it anyways. It was so salty. It was so salty. It was really gr Be careful, because Wally likes his, uh, kind of undercooked. Oh, Jesus. Wally likes his food kind of undercooked, so be on the watch. Alright, I will. That's good. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is too stressful. Right? <laughs> uh, love Wally. He's my favorite character in these games. Do you have a favorite Papa's Pizzeria character? Papa. Papa? Yeah. Himself? Mm -hmm. Alright. I respect it. Uh, Three dollar tip Wally or I'm never playing this game again. 71? <laughs> it's because you took so long. I got I got stuff. Oh, the pizza! <laughs> Wait. It's not ready. Oh, yet. okay. 
<laughs> I want a pizza. No, I was so stressed. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, did you work anywhere during the summer, or you work for your dad sometimes, right? Oh uh, well, yeah, I just work for my dad. But I can't. I don't know. Like I try getting a job, and I've applied to the movie theater, <laughs> to Calix, to Subway. Or else. I know there was one, like, I think there was one other place. Maybe not. Mm, you got Starbucks. This. Starbucks. Starbucks. I applied to You'd Starbucks. make a good barista. I think I've told you that before. Yeah, because, I mean, it's like, it's easy. You just, I wanted to work there, but they'd never called me. Yeah. Like, so, I, I hope this never gets out to my boss, but I'm not, like, the big, I, my passion isn't scooping ice cream. Uh, <laughs> you come to work one day, your boss is like tears. <laughs> you want? It's because you took so long. Maybe Tim needs to get over it. Maybe Tim needs to go outside and touch grass. <sighs> touch, a, touch a better pizza, probably. Touch a woman. Uh, but, anyways, um, we could probably fit in one more day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Big Polly. <laughs> but anyways, uh, scooping ice cream is not my passion. Uh, I, I like doing it because I really like customer service. Uh, because I'm good at it. I'm really good at talking. Uh, which is great, especially paired with the pressure to tip. Uh, which I love it when so you mentioned like when you went there you like subconsciously clicked the 15% it's great when people do that when they order like hoodies or t-shirts oh cause you're getting 15% of like a $60 fix uh, yeah cause like uh, this one time someone ordered like two hoodies and two a hoodie is 40 bucks so it was 80 bucks plus their ice cream order so it was like 90 something and they just subconsciously gave me like a ten dollar tip. Yeah. And that was great. And I was like, "Thank you so much." And they're like, "Yeah, yeah." Because I don't think they realized how much they tipped me. And it was also like they probably didn't realize it was optional. They just they were just like, "Well, I got it." <laughs> Where did? Oh. Also, a little manipulative tactic that I do is uh, I always give a compliment towards the person like as they're like handing me their card or something mm -hmm. like hey i like that shirt or oh i really like your hair that's so wrong because like it kind of drills into their head like oh this person's nice how much how much do you need to cook that first one oh it's almost done I know. how much do you have to cook the second one because i think that's done Oh no! Oh no! Go back! <laughs> oh, I overcooked it. Uh. No, that one you undercooked. Oh, I just also cut it wrong. No! <laughs> oh no, it's good. It's good. Okay. You're fine. Uh, but yeah, it's great. And like, I do this really cheesy stuff, like. Hey, how's your day going? And they were like, all right. And I'm like, about to be better. After you give me a tip. <laughs> or like, hey, have you been helped yet? No, let's change that. And it makes them feel special. Yeah. Which I... makes me feel special when they give me big number. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, these people. Rita. <laughs> You're coming for a pizza every day. What the fuck's wrong with you? language young man no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. poor Tim are you not gonna finish Tim's order oh oh no he he can wait you should <laughs> you should burn his pizza <laughs> yeah <laughs> put like all of money or something put it a anchovy oh oh last dude it's the last guy it's Cooper look at him it's Cooper He's our, he's our good fellow. He's a Cooper. All right. Um, I'm going to make Cooper's pizza first, Rita's second, and then Tim's last. <laughs> and I'm not going to do any of them simultaneously. <laughs> You're evil. They'll get over it. Uh, 
Yeah, I've only been working at Calix for like a month or two, and it's it's pretty easy. <laughs> Yeah. The most obnoxious thing about it is that I have to wear a man bun, which I hate. I hate anyone who wears a man bun. Oh, I, I was thinking that like, if I go, if I get a job, I'm probably gonna have to wear a ponytail. You can probably get away with a ponytail, but my hair is so long to the point where I need to have it in a bun or else it's gonna get in ice cream. Ew. Oh, I burnt it. Oh. <laughs> Unless people want William flavored ice cream. I like the I like the um, coffee flavored ice cream. It is really that's my favorite. Okay, so hear me out. This is really weird, but before I started working at Calix, me and my dad would always make milkshakes with the coffee ice cream and banana. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Bananas and coffee go really well together. Oh yeah, especially like a peanut butter banana sandwich. And like. No one acknowledges it because I've always eaten them because the potassium wakes up your brain and the caffeine wakes up your body. But like, it's just so good. Then again, I love milkshakes, which is not good for me because they're like really unhealthy. <laughs> oh, I like them too. I like banana ones. Or I guess that'd be a smoothie. I wish there was banana flavored ice cream at Calix. That'd be really good. Yeah. Another place I wanted to work was the uh, is the Mendocino Cookie Company, but they took down their for hiring sign. Uh, I've heard bad things about the Mendocino Chocolate Company. Uh, at least the one in Fort Bragg, I've heard bad things about. The one in Mendocino, I've heard really good things about. Oh yeah, no, I, uh, I don't want to work there. The the cookie one, you know the one. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, I just wasn't sure. <laughs> It's just I don't know as much about the cookie company. <laughs> I mean, I just know that they have like coffee so. and they have yummy cookies. I think uh, I think a teacher here actually works there. I forget who though. I wonder how they manage that. Well, I mean, I'm sure they'll figure it out because teachers' pay isn't really that much. Yeah. Which sucks. I feel bad for teachers. I don't. I do. There are some teachers I really like, like Mr. Carr. Mr. Carr is great. I love Mr. Carr. He's like one of my favorite teachers, if not my favorite teacher. I like Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris is a funny guy. Oh, Mr. Let's Go. I haven't had too many interactions with him, but I have heard nothing but good things. She gave me like the greatest nickname, Boston Tea Party. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Uh, Pax calls him dad. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. Um, also, he's just a pretty chill guy. Yeah, um, Miss Nell is, Miss Nell is great. Miss Nell is a good person, I wouldn't say is a good teacher. Oh. I think Miss Mongren, Mongren is really nice, she's cool. We're just gonna be like, shitting on all the teachers, pardon my language. Um, but yeah, I love Miss Beer. I'm really sad I didn't get her this year, but you know, I Mr. got- Mr. Bell's cool too. I got Joseph Bell. Yeah, Mr. Bell's great. He's great. Uh, I'm really scared if any teachers watch this because I refer to my teachers uh, by their first name oh. when I'm not in front of them. I can't do that. I get scared they might like show up. Well, <laughs> whenever like I'm at school early and I walk past the library and I see Carr, I'm like, hey, yo, is that my guy, Marshall Carr? Does he say anything to you? No, he doesn't hear me. Oh. I make sure none of them hear me. Uh, and I got in trouble the other day because uh, I didn't realize that Chef Amy, the uh, the culinary teacher, uh, I've been calling her Amy like for the entire year and she was like, Chef Amy, the other day. And I was like, oh shh, did I mess that up? I'm sorry. Do you have culinary? Yeah, I have culinary first period. Oh, nice. I got to eat food. <laughs> um, I think this should be our last day because we're already near the 20 minute mark. Yeah, if I press quit, will it save or can I? It should save. Yeah, slot <laughs> one. It just says like, click your story your game. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Anyways, that was a really fun episode. Yeah, I like popcorn. I also just like talking. 
uh, I should do this for other games that you're playing instead of talking about the game so much. Then again, this is like a game that you can kind of zone out and play. No, man, I was into that. We should make a cool math game series. That'd be really funny. That would be cool, yeah. Like cool math games? Yeah. Uh, I, I caught on. Insane. But like Run and Fire, oh, Fire Boy and Water Girl, stuff like that. Let us know down in the comments if you watch that. Nah, no one watches till here. <laughs> uh, speaking of no one, uh, to all the people who aren't there, thank you for sticking around as long as you have. Oh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you guys have a good day. Yeah, so Any parting words, Trent? No, have a good day. You didn't hit the stop recording button. <laughs> <laughs>